Hey everybody, I'm Josh Sprague and welcome back to another episode of Sinclair's Aviation Video Series. Today we're going to talk about the flight controls and how we make an airplane fly as well as how we taxi it. This sort of ties into a story from uh, a childhood friend that I, uh, that I had many years ago who was getting ready to go on his first flight. He was going to Chicago with his dad on summer vacation. True story, by the way. He knew I was an aviation geek. He assumed that and he was right. He uh, was worried about what the takeoff was going to be like and he said, when, I, when, I stand on the, when the pilot stands on the gas pedal, I don't know what I'm going to think. Well, I, I couldn't fault him because he, uh, he was new to it and, and many, many people think that that's how the airplane works and that's not how it works. So what I'm going to do is take a few minutes today to walk you through the flight controls on the airplane and uh, show you how we do not only fly the airplane but taxi it to and from the runway as well. So what we'll uh, start with is uh, the yoke, that's the fancy term for steering wheel in an airplane. And this is another uh, area of misconception that I think a lot of students are uh, that have to adjust to a little bit. What it is, uh, you obviously you uh, turn the airplane by uh, in the air using this. A lot of people think that it's going to work like a car, and you'll just turn it back and forth to taxi it on the ground. That's not a, uh, how it works at all. Interestingly enough, and we'll talk a little bit about uh, that in a minute when we get to the rudder pedals. The uh, yoke is used for uh, turning uh, uh, or rolling the airplane left and back to the right, and then uh, as you'll see, the ailerons will deflect in the uh, proper direction to make that happen. It's also uh, used for climbing or pitching and descending, and the uh, best way I've ever heard that described is my friend and colleague David Hawsey, who you saw in the first video that we did. Uh, if you uh, pull the yoke back, the houses get smaller. If you push it forward, the houses get bigger. There's also a uh, push to talk button for the, uh, the microphone here as well. I talked a minute ago about how you uh, steer an airplane on the ground and uh, how that's not done with your hands but with your feet. These are the rudder pedals. They serve a couple different purposes. Um, the rudder pedals steer the nose wheel, so if you push the left pedal, you'll turn left. The right pedal, you'll turn right. If you want to relate this to a car a little bit, my, uh, my friend's story about the gas pedal doesn't tie in. We'll talk about how the, uh, the power of the, or the thrust of the engine is adjusted in a minute, but we do have brakes down here. So when you tap on the fronts of the brakes, it activates the uh, brakes on the main landing gear. And one of the interesting things about it is um, there's differential braking, so you can touch only the right brake or only the left brake if, uh, if that's necessary. As for the mystery question we were talking about and how you speed up or slow down the engine and thus the airplane, um, the easiest way I can describe that is with uh, this plunger here. This is the throttle. Right now it's in the full idle position. If the engine were running, you could uh, add power to get to where it's at this point, at which point it would be maximum thrust and clear back to idle, which is about 500 RPM. To the right of that, we also have the mixture control. The mixture has the red knob here. It's the fuel-air mixture that's being uh, uh, applied to the engine. If it's full rich, uh, that's used for takeoff and landing to give it the most uh, rich power possible. You can also um, sort of walk it back here to improve the fuel efficiency as the plane is flying in terms of the, uh, the fuel flow and the gallons per hour rate uh, in the flight. That's something you do once you get to your cruising altitude. And then to uh, shut the engine off completely or cut, uh, cut it off uh, no matter what the situation, you could pull it all the way back and that will end the, uh, the fuel flow of the engine. And finally, one other thing I wanted to point out to you are the, uh, the wing flaps. If you've ever been on a commercial plane, and especially if you've sat behind the wings, you might have noticed the wings seeming to get uh, a little bit bigger as you uh, get closer to landing and, and when you do land. Uh, easiest way to sum these up is they're used for increasing the rate of descent without increasing airspeed. So they're most used in landing, but also in some takeoff situations. The, uh, there are 30 degrees of flaps, so if you lower the handle, this would be, and we have the power off now, here's 10 degrees, 20 degrees, and full, and there's uh, 85 knots or below is where you want to be to have the, uh, the flaps in operation.